Well, I started another painting and it is of a bunny. So what I did last night was I had my underpainting completed and then I took just titanium white and started building up the form of the bunny. And now I'm taking glazes and putting that on top. So this surface is highly textured compared to most of my surfaces. Before the end, I'll come close so you can actually see how much texture there is on the panel. Again, I'm working on wood. I just love that... Um, the stability of the wood so I just can't do canvas anymore it just totally gives me so many limitations with my material where I feel like I have so much freedom with the wood panel So I switched my brush up from my last few videos. So I'm using a liner brush. What I love about the liner is how much material it holds. And when I'm re reproducing fur of a specific animal, I'm really trying to get the texture of the fur, not necessarily um, the brush stroke. So with the rabbit, they're super soft and fuzzy, and that's why I chose the liner brush, because I can get some very fine, fine lines as well as work in a larger way where I'm covering more surface area. Sorry if you've ever tried it, talking and painting sometimes become a challenge. It's like using both sides of the brain at the same time. Your brain's like, oh no, overload. So the color I'm using right now, I made with ultramarine blue, transparent brown oxide, and a little bit of transparent red iron oxide by Golden. It, it's the high fluid acrylics again. I have to say that the high fluid acrylics really give you so much flexibility in the material. Because it's already fluid, it, it makes it a lot easier. You don't have to cut it very much with medium. And it works almost like acrylic, ink, or watercolor. It's pretty darn flexible. I love this stuff. So you should already see a difference in 
the face versus, say, the ears or the torso, where it's still pretty flat. And this depth is just happening with the, this other layer. So right now, this painting, I would say I'm on the third layer right now. The underpainting was in just a pure white where I was working on the form. Then yesterday I added some color. And now today I'm just starting to build up the glazes. I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, I was mesmerized by watching Bob Ross. I would be so excited when he was on television. I would just try to paint while he was painting, whether I was actually painting a landscape or something else. But I just loved watching the simplicity of it. So here there's some really heavy texture. I'm going to try to show you in the video. So you can see how much texture is on the surface. So it's pretty built up. So I'm getting some of this skipping happening right in here. Not sure if I'm going to leave it or not yet, but we'll see. <laughs> 